Welcome to Cable Car Dominica. It's February of 2024. We're here on a beautiful day in the nature aisle. Behind me, you see the uh, Sikorsky Blackhawk helicopter, which we've brought in here from America to lift the heavy components for the LCS material ropeway. This material ropeway will carry all the materials through the forest for us to build the actual cable car itself. Things like foundation materials, formwork, tower structures, and all the components for the machinery at the top station. The Blackhawk helicopter has a capacity of uh, 7,500 pounds or about 3,400 kilograms in lifting weight. And um, it has a good speed and it has about uh, 2,000 horsepower per the two engines that are in it. We've managed to accomplish in the last two weeks setting uh, 17 out of the 18 towers with the helicopter. Our weather has been absolutely phenomenal with uh, very brief periods of rain, so we're very thankful for that. Uh, we're working hard at the bottom station of the cable car. We've got excavation in process for uh, building the foundations of the cable car itself and the station building. Our parking lot is uh, well underway. We are progressing with our work together with the government and DeWasco to bring water to the Bayak community, which is where our bottom station is located. A new intake will be built in the Providence River by DeWasco standards, and the water will be piped underground to the Bayak area, where then it will be available for the Shawford area and possibly in the future for other participants in the Roseville Valley. This past week, we were able to fly six houses to the top station. We pre-built these houses here in this parking lot, and uh, those houses were taken up there to give the workers a nice roof over their heads while they're working up there. They're temporary structures, but they're stable enough that we can use them to provide cooking facilities, small office area up at the top during construction, and of course, nightly accommodation. We've been uh, doing a lot of work on the trails, the walking trails in our area of the island. We've done enhancements on the Boiling Lake Trail, the Waitukubuli Trail, and we've also installed some new trails that we use to um, access our locations on the cable car line. We're trying to be good stewards of the area that we've been given to work with on the island, and uh, we're very happy to be here on this project. Thank you very much.